Now, the UK declined to provide evidence to support its accusation. The US State Department has also been pressed by some journalists to share its evidence. Just have a listen to this exchange between its spokesperson, Ned Price, and the journalist, Matt Lee. What is the evidence that they play? I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. No, no you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for but yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you, that, 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 that you can show... We're going to focus on the tension between Russia and Ukraine and the way that governments have used intelligence to explain their concerns. Both the US and the UK have repeatedly cited secret intelligence that Russia is preparing to invade Ukraine. For example, this was the British Foreign Secretary earlier. We are fully aware that there could be a Russian invasion almost immediately. That is why British citizens do need to leave Ukraine. And this was the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Sunday. We have seen over the course of the past 10 days a dramatic acceleration in the buildup of Russian forces and the disposition of those forces in such a way that they could launch a military action essentially at any time. They could do so this coming week. Uh, but, of course, it still awaits the go order. Uh, and so, therefore, we cannot predict the precise day or time that they may take action. Well, describing the Kremlin's possible next move is a strategy that the UK and US says is designed to stop war. While the tactic isn't new, the scale of it is. The New York Times calls it one of the most aggressive releases of intelligence by the US since the Cuban Missile Crisis, adding that the United States began disclosing Russian maneuvering in early December when it declassified intelligence assessments that predicted that Russia could eventually mass 175,000 troops for an invasion of Ukraine. For example, this unclassified document published in the Washington Post warned of an offensive in the beginning of 2022. A few days later came this warning from Jake Sullivan. As we pursue diplomatic channels, we will also prepare for all contingencies, just as we have been doing for weeks now, including through the preparation of specific responses to Russian escalation should they be required. So that was back in December. Then in January, the U.S. said it had evidence of a Russian plan to release a fake video of a Ukrainian attack on its territory. It would show footage of corpses and actors that would be depicting mourners and also images of destroyed locations. Now, in conflict, this is called a false flag. It's when a military force tries to disguise its identity or motivation. Let's go back to Jake Sullivan again. We also are watching very carefully for the possibility that there is a pretext or a false flag operation uh, to kick off the Russian action in which uh, Russian intelligence uh, services conduct some kind of attack on Russian proxy forces in eastern Ukraine or on Russian citizens and then blame it on the Ukrainians. Now, the U.S. isn't alone in releasing declassified information. Last month, the U.K. Foreign Office publicly outlined an alleged plot by Moscow to install a pro-Kremlin leader in Ukraine. The U.K. government cited intelligence from several nations, including the United States. Here's the Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab speaking to Sophie Rayworth. Well, it's totally unacceptable. Contrary to international law, the international community as a whole needs to step up to the plate. So one of the things you're seeing, is the Foreign Secretary I think is doing a, a very good job of this, is uh, making it clear what's at stake so other countries come and support. Uh, the, the reality is... But is that what you're expecting to happen, an invasion? I think there's a very significant risk of it. 
Now, the UK declined to provide evidence to support its accusation. The US State Department has also been pressed by some journalists to share its evidence. Just have a listen to this exchange between its spokesperson, Ned Price, and the journalist, Matt Lee. What is the evidence that they... I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know... Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. No, no you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for that, yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you, that, 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 that you can show... Now, the U.S. argues that sharing that information could benefit Russia by exposing its methods and how it gathers intelligence. Others argue that Washington could actually go further. The New York Times saying that the United States or its allies could release information about Mr. Putin's top lieutenants, for example, or the oligarchs who support him. That could sow doubt about people's loyalty or indeed expose their wealth. Well, Russia denies it's planning to invade for its part it accuses the U.S. and the U.K. of information propaganda and madness and scaremongering. Its deputy ambassador to the U.N. was also saying something similar. What is the evidence that they... I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know... Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. No, no you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for that, yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. What would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you that 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 that, that, that you can show. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the in in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. I mean, this is like crisis actors, really. This is like like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Well, I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now.